I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Colin, and you're watching BDTV for Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. April is the month of the military child. This special recognition was established by former Defense Secretary Casper Weinberg, which serves as a reminder that military children play an important role in contributing to the strength of military families. The month of the military child provides communities an opportunity to honor and share gratitude for the service of military children. Did you know that the Department of Defense is the world's biggest employer? With about 2.91 million employees, it employs more people than China's People's Liberation Army, coming in second with about 1.5 million. The U.S. Army employs the most people out of any branch in the military. Coming up on today's show is Stereotypes and Cambridge Testing. Yeah, yeah. I'm Jess. And I'm Sydney. Let's get into the announcements. Students, remember to check your email every day. You may receive important news through your school email. There are volunteer opportunities on the Guidance Department's Community Service Bulletin Board. Check these out for community service hours. Winter Haven will have a blood drive tomorrow. Sign up during lunches in the cafeteria today. To donate, you must be at least 16 years old with parent permission and weigh at least 100 pounds. Be sure to drink lots of water two days prior to donation, avoid caffeinated drinks, and to eat breakfast that morning. Polk State College is having their open house at the Lakeland campus on April 4th from 5 to 7 p.m. Open enrollment for summer starts April 8th, and open enrollment for fall starts June 3rd. Today, girls lacrosse will play at 6 at Toho. Boys volleyball will play at 7 at Bartow. Varsity baseball will play at 6 at Manatee. Boys lacrosse will play at 6 at home against Toho. Softball will play at home against McKeel. JV at 5.30 and varsity at 7.30. Let's go to Viviana for some more information on prom. I don't know if you've heard yet, but this year's prom theme is a night under the stars. It's on Friday, April 12th from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Omni Orlando Resort. To get tickets for this fun event, you must have all of your obligations cleared at least 24 hours before you purchase tickets. But how do you get your obligations cleared? It's simple, just come to Ms. Woodhead's office with the exact money you need to pay your obligations. Now back to prom. Cost is $60 for seniors, $80 for juniors, and $100 for approved guests. You can pay by check to Winter Haven High School with your student ID, or you can bring cash, but no bills larger than $20. Tickets will be sold here from Wednesday, April 3rd to Tuesday, April 9th during fifth period. On Wednesday, April 3rd and Friday, April 5th from 1020 to 1045, buildings 34 in the gym. From 1144 to 1209, buildings 21, 25, and 36. On Thursday, April 4th and Monday, April 8th from 1020 to 1045, building 35 and music. From 1144 to 1209, buildings 1, 6, Auditorium, and Media Center. Tuesday, April 9th is only for students who are absent on the previous four purchasing days. 1020 to 1045, buildings 34, 35, gym, or music. From 1144 to 1209, buildings 1, 6, 21, 25, 36, Auditorium, or the Media Center. Go purchase prom tickets for New Haven High School, but don't forget, you must bring a picture ID to be admitted to prom. I hope to see you at prom. Thanks, Viviana. Now I know when to get my ticket. Are you a freshman or sophomore? Did you get a 4 or 5 on your FAST ELA? Did you get a 4 or 5 on your Algebra or Geometry EOC? Do you have a GPA of 3.5 or higher? If so, you can join Cambridge, a wonderful academic program. See Ms. Jordan or Ms. Reineke for more information. If you would like to say goodbye to a senior, the Trident is selling senior farewell messages, which will be printed in their May issue. The cost is only $1 per message. You can buy yours from any Trident staff member or from Ms. Shubley in room 35-24. The Young Guns of, Blue, of the Blue Devil program competed in the freshman-sophomore meet held at Lake Region. 
The top three finishers were Julius Hansford, first place in the 800 meter, and the 4x100 team of Cassidy Irvin, Isaiah Brown, Braden Scott, and Jordan Tarver, first place. The 4x100 team of Enrique Garcia, Mike Keenery, Julius Hansford, and Jordan Tarver, first place. Carver also took second and third in the 200 and 100 meter. The 4x800 meter team of Enrique Garcia, Julius Hansford, Max De La Cruz, and Caden Sakiyama, third place. Mike Kearney placed third in the 400 meter. Kayla Weaver placed second in the 400 meter and third in the 100 meter hurdles. Seniors, Thursday, April 18th, there will be a graduation meeting in the auditorium beginning immediately after seniors check in with our third period teacher. You will need to bring your book bags and a writing utensil. Important information regarding graduation will be discussed. After the meeting, seniors will be released to the cafeteria to receive their caps and gowns. You must be present to receive your cap and gown. If you aren't present on that day, the gowns will be locked up in the main office and will be available for pickup before school or during fifth period only. Senior teachers are expected to attend the meeting as this is a very large class and your help is needed. Let's go to Bradley with stereotypes. All right, class, I'm going to be taking attendance. Let's start off with Zach. Here. Nico. Here. Sydney? 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 Sydney, wake up! Not again. Hey girl, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. You know, I'm just in the super math class. I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> Good morning, Winter Haven. We're Devil Perfect here with some Blue Devil stereotypes. Ew, oh my god. And what she said to me the other day, ugh, she's just such a rude person. I literally don't like her. Absolutely disgusting. I cannot stand the way she talks. I know. She's just, ugh, so icky. Ew, oh my god. Look at her outfit. She looks awful. Ugh. Bro, no way you had that many yards in the game last and night. That catch you had? Oh, Mr. Oh, QB! What's up? Yo, Teach, can I go to coach's office? Teach, you should have been there last night. I had like 400 yards. And guess who threw them all to me? Can I go to the nurse's office? I really tweaked my knee last night. That's all the fun stereotypes we have for you today, Warner Haven. It's important to remember that everyone's different, and that's okay. We're Devil Perfect. See ya. Thanks, Bradley. If you're interested in hosting a student from the Netherlands or in having an opportunity to travel to the Netherlands and Paris, then attend one of the two Dutch Exchange Program informational sections. Sessions. The sessions will be on April 9th and 23rd after school in room 35212. If you have any questions, email Mr. Brown. Congratulations to Adelina Lewis and Olivia Sticklin, who have been chosen to read their original poems at the Box Tower Garden Sense of Summer Poetry Fest on April 6th. Congratulations to Olivia Logan, who became the best in Polk County this winter. Among her many accomplishments over her high school career, three times she was the first team all-county selection and a three-time state medalist, including third and sixth place finishes this season. Logan is the Ledger's 2023 to 2024 Girls Weightlifter of the Year. Hosted members Danielle Williams and Alston Walner hosted an event on March 26th about coping with anxiety as a part of their competition event for Hosted State Conference called Mental Health Promotion. It was called Painting and Coping. Participants could choose painting or crocheting as an outlet to help relieve anxiety. It was a great turnout and they were $78 to donate to Anxiety and Depression Association of America. Check out their social media page on Instagram, Anxiety Doesn't Define, and TikTok, Mental Health is Real. Any senior who will be attending Tennessee State in the fall, please see Ms. Bachman for scholarship opportunities. The last days to purchase grad bash tickets is today in Ms. Woodhead's office. Tickets are $105, no bills larger than 20. Grad Bash will be on April 26th. We're here at the entrance to the Cambridge test. Cambridge has been around for eight years here at Winter Haven High School and can take a lot of preparation to pass the test. I'm Parker with BTV. Let's go learn a little bit more about our Cambridge test. What are you doing to prepare for your Cambridge test? I'm starting the night before, making sure that I'm studying, getting a good night's rest, eating a good dinner. Then that morning, I'm going to make sure I have a good breakfast, listen to some motivational music to get me in the zone and study again some more, and just make sure that I'm not overthinking it too much. How many Cambridge tests have you passed? I've passed 11. 11. I've passed 16. I have passed seven Cambridge tests. What Cambridge test has been the hardest and why? Uh, definitely the U.S. history one because I didn't really pay attention in the class, kind of slacked off. I didn't take notes, so 
at whenever it came to test time, I ended up messing up and writing about the wrong thing. I didn't get a good night's rest. That was definitely a part of it, so. With 95% of all our Cambridge students getting their Cambridge diplomas, Cambridge is a great program here to have at Winter Haven High School. I'm Parker Ruby TV. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about your Cambridge test, Winter Haven. Thanks, Parker, for all that great information on Cambridge testing. This year, we invite you to Purple Up on April 17th. Wear purple as a visible way to show your support and thanks to military children. The color purple was chosen to symbolize all the branches of the military. Ridge Technical College is having a career fair from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and their open house is from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Thursday, April 11th. Ridge has over 20 programs available. Explore their programs and talk to employers while visiting. Last weekend, several of our Blue Devil Drama students performed at the Ritz in an improvised sketch comedy show with students from Haines City High School. Please congratulate Kit McGuire, Sophia Thornhill, Maya Twyford, Tessa Klein, and Nadia Roberts to an outstanding, fun performance. That's all we have for you today, Winter Haven. I'm Kelly with BDTV. Have a great day. Good afternoon, Winter Haven High School. This is Coach Barber along with Ms. Reddick. Everybody should know who we are, along with Mr. Slaughter, Mr. Reeves, and the whole other administration staff. All right, listen up. Majority of you guys know me from the den, and majority of you guys don't know me from the den. So the ones that don't know me, that's a great thing. However, you ones that keep coming to me every day, every other day, every other week, gonna be some changes. We're going to start now putting the cell phones away, earbuds away, headphones away, any other electronic device except your laptop. And you better be doing school policy work. If I catch you on YouTube, I'm taking the laptop for the rest of the day. Cell phone issue. We're going to put them in our book bags now. And the book bags are going to be right behind me all times. That's for kids coming in for tardies. That's for kids coming in for class disruptions. That's kids coming in for ISS. However, ISS, your book bag will stay with me the entire day in my office. I hope we understand that. If we catch you with that cell phone out, you are going to get an extended day of ISS or an OSS out of school. Do you understand me? Yeah. 